Hi, I'm Fiona and I have a new sewing project. This time I'm going to make a white pleated mini skirt, which is kind of like a weird basic thing to make, but I don't know why, but ever since I was a little kid I've really wanted one of these. I don't really know why because it's not a super common item. I don't know if it's because I watched a tennis something and was like, oh, that's so cool. Or I saw just someone wearing it as a fashion item. But it's what I'm, I've always wanted it. When I was like 15 or 16, I did make a mini skirt that was pleated. Very similar to what I'm going to make now. However, for some reason I chose to make it in like a quite a bright blue. So I never felt like I got my white pleated mini skirt and I didn't wear it that much. But this is what I'm gonna do. I may have chosen the worst time to start this project as my mum decided to rearrange the lounge and I was like, cool, I'm gonna go film. So it's gonna be a struggle finding places to film this. Alrighty, so I need a couple of measurements for this project. The first one being my waist measurement. And it's always good to get do it a couple of times just in case, I know, you were sucking in harder in one. And just to make sure, you know, you're getting the same measurement each time. Otherwise you might make it a little too small or a little too big. Yeah, so like those two times there were slight differences. And so I am going to do it third time and pretty just make take the average between them all. Yeah, so I'm going to just take the average and now I'm doing a measurement for the length. Um, I kind of have to kind of estimate because I'm measuring on myself and if I bend down obviously the length gets like smaller because I'm moving around. So I'm just going to reach down. I know that I want it about my finger length, fingertip length so I'm just going to say that that is the length. So it has been a bit of time since I filmed me measuring my um, measurements. <laughs> Still the same day, but I've done a bit of work. I needed to charge the battery, so I was doing that. But what I did was I took the measurement of my waist and times it by three to get the width that I needed that I'd need because I was just doing like a square piece of fabric so that when once I've folded it all up it will be the right <laughs> measurement for my waist however when I was cutting it I made a little bit of a dumb move trying to be fast but something that some people do which turns out to not be the smartest move is when they're cutting their fabric especially when it's just going to be in a straight line they will cut a little bit and then rip However, doing this meant that it got smaller. Well, it didn't get smaller. I didn't rip it straight, which meant when I then folded, I noticed it wasn't straight. Pretty much, I lost my seam allowance. So I cut it out, cut it out two pieces. I made the back one longer because generally, because I have bad posture and because I have a bit more junk in the trunk than at the front, I find that most skirts end up being a little bit shorter. So I just made the bottom a bit shorter, a bit longer than the front. I just kind of guessed and hopefully that's all good. And then I zigzagged all the raw edges because this fabric is fraying so much. Um, I would recommend overlocking if you had an overlocker, but I don't. Or there's a system that Bernadette Banner which does, which I was planning to do, where you do the seam and then you take the seam allowance and then like hand stitch it under itself, which would have been really smart, but obviously I'm trying to make the seams as small as possible so there's not enough room to do that. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I've just done the first side seam and now I'm going to start working out. 
I'm going to work out how big I'm going to make these pleats and just pray that I somehow find room for a bit more of a waist. the pleating that I had done was a waste because I needed to do the hem first. I finished pinning and ironing all of the pleats I then sewed across the top to hold them in place. So here I am trying it on again but what I have done is I have pinned down the top of each of the darts to see if I like that and to see if it will still fit. Alrighty, so what I'm just about to do now is I'm going to pin like a fake waistband on just to see if I want one because I was kind of trying it on before I did this um, to see if I like, liked it without and just to see if it was going to fit. And I kind of do and because of the edge that I used across the top I don't actually have to put a waistband on because um, it's not going to fray or anything. So what I'm going to do is just pin this on, see what it looks like, decide whether it's going to have a, pin, a waistband or not. So if I do have a waistband, be but like that so I'm just gonna try it on Yay. okay so this is it pinned on and I do prefer the waistband I was hoping I wouldn't because then I just had to do like the side seam and put the zip in but I do really like it so yay on just put in that side zip not gonna lie I boshed it but I'm at that point of the project where I'm like I just want it done so I'm gonna leave it like that and just hope that no one's looking at my side seam that much but yeah so I just have the waistband to go on now I like because it's already extremely high waisted I don't want it to be like up here so I've left like a decent here and the side just gonna come up here and I'm gonna trim this inside seam alrighty so this is 
the finished look. Wait, no it isn't. Okay, just pretend this is like a tennis racket. This is the finished look. Alrighty, on a more serious note, this is the finished look. I am wearing this out for tea tonight, so I'm trying very hard to make this not look like I've just come from my tennis game and chucked on a denim jacket. But, gosh, it's so hot. It very much looks like a tennis skirt. Um, the waistband is like a bit too thick for me, which, like, it sits fine, but it's kind of like floating around. And I think that really increases the I've just come from a tennis game look and it does not help that this shirt that I'm wearing underneath is actually an active top but this is this is the finished skirt um yeah as I said it's no a little big and it's not the most flattering but I have it I have no white actually see the skirt a bit better when I'm not in the sun because the, the light is like shining and it's bouncing off. Um, but yeah this is if you can see it